Well, hey everybody, and welcome back to D-Ray Shop. Today I'm going to be rebuilding some belt tensioners. Now, these particular belt tensioners fit to over the road trucks, freight liners. A company that I work for part time, I operate their parts room for them, and uh, they have a lot of trucks that have Detroit and a few with some Caterpillar diesels in them. And this is a regular item that they replace pretty regularly. And uh, these things can be very expensive, but I did a little research on them and I found a way that you can rebuild these things and save a ton of money. So let me show you what I got going here. Now here's some of the tensioners I'm gonna be rebuilding today. And what goes wrong with these things is uh, the old bearings, since they're, they're sealed, there's no way to lubricate them. And after a while, the, the, the grease kind of dries out in them and they'll, they'll get kind of kind of noisy. And of course, uh, eventually, if you keep running them like that, they'll, they'll eventually seize up, which is exactly what happened on this Caterpillar one here. You can tell by looking at the roller, it got so hot that it's just, it's hard to turn. And it was just smoking the belt right off of it. Uh, now this particular tensioner here for this Caterpillar, I uh, purchased a new one for it. And this one was over $300 for this tensioner right here. And what I found is, is uh, you can pop that cap out of there. And the only thing's holding the tensioner on is a bolt and a washer. Take those off and then it's just got a regular bearing in there. In fact, uh, the Caterpillar uses two 6203 bearings. Got those at the local bearing supply for $5 a piece. So basically, I can rebuild this $300 tensioner for $10 worth of parts. Uh, same thing on the Detroit tensioners. Uh, they just simply have a bearing that's just pressed right into the roller. There's no retaining clip or anything. You just press it out, press the new one in. Now this one has a little different style bearing to it. This is a double row bearing, but there again, it's a sealed uh, pre-lubricated bearing. It's number 5106 WCC. Now this one was a little more expensive, but still uh, $24 at the local truck truck shop. So 24 bucks versus the, about the best I could ever do on one of these, even in an aftermarket, was around $175, $200. But uh, the only thing you really gotta watch for on these is where the arm actually pivots on the main body. There is a bushing in there that you can't get to, but uh, what you wanna do when you decide whether or not you wanna rebuild one of these is just look at the gap here and make sure that the bushing's not warm so that the, the arm is sitting on there at an angle because if, if it does, um, it's not gonna hold your belt straight and it, it could cause it to wear or maybe even derail it. So, uh, but just pressing these bearings out. One thing I like to do before I take this roller off is kind of dress the end of that pulley up to make it real nice and slick. So that way when you put your new belt on there, it doesn't wear your belt. All I use is a little 90 degree die grinder with a sanding disc on it. There you go, it's got that pulley nice and smooth. So let's just take it off. One thing you gotta remember on these two, this bolt is left-handed. There you go. Now we'll go to the press. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that bearing right there on those blocks. Now I'm actually gonna use the new bearing to press the old bearing out. Put a little plate on it so it'll press on the outside of the bearing race and we'll just push that right out. I'm just gonna press this down till it's flush with the top and our old bearing should fall out of the bottom. Then I'll take that bearing, set it on top of the new one and then we'll press it down in the pulley a little bit further because we want to get that bearing as close to centered in there as we can. Now I'll take that old bearing, just set it right there on top of it. And then we're just gonna press that down in there just a little ways, just enough to get that bearing centered. Out of there, Barry. All right, there you have it. There 
There you have it. One rebuilt belt tensioner. Alrighty guys, well that's gonna wrap up this episode of D-Ray Shop. Hope you found the information was useful, and if so, if you drop me a comment down in the comment section below. Alright. Well, as always, appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good one. Catch y'all next time around.